They've got two to jump from here. They've gone hard in front in this and catching time in the yellow leading to now. The knot is tied uh, in the black and red coming through to try and take second from Kill Brew Boy and the green colours on the right. He was still just second. Jenny's Day is behind this. Frankincense is next. City Flame is still there. The stopper down behind those. But catching time uh, continues to be out in front here with Peter Summers. Still got a two or three length lead. Jenny's Day now and the white and red has moved into second. Kill Brew Boy and the green getting tired in third place. They're over the last flight in the yellow jacket. Catching time continues to be in front here. Has set a fierce pace in this and has uh, seen them all off. Catching time one. Jenny's Day in second. Frankincense and Kill Brew Boy a tight thing third and fourth. The knot is tied was only fifth. Oh my goodness me, what a story, what a pace. And what a, a winner that is for Peter <laughs> Summers on just his second uh, ride in public under rules. And a first winner and I think four or five years under rules for Laura Hurley as well. And catching time at 125 to 1 will go in as one of the biggest prize winners of the season or many a season down here at uh, Wing Canton. And normally wins over two miles. He scorched off at two mile pace and look at that smile. First uh, amateur rider to ride a winner in 2021. Take a bow, Peter Summers. What a story. Astonishing, isn't it? I mean, the horse second run back from quite a long absence. You said it's the trainer's first winner for four or five years. Well, in fact, this was the last winner and it was February 2017. And as you say, it's a two miler on soft ground. But Again, before the race, you went through the fact that hardly any of these had ever won a race, or if they had, they won one. He has, he had won six prior to this, but God, who on earth saw that coming? Extraordinary. I think over hurdles, he probably won as many as the rest of the field yep. had uh, made up entirely. We, you could tell from Ian Bartlett's <laughs> commentary, it wasn't Frank Alesk, but the, <laughs> there was a little bit of surely they're going to come back well, to them uh, between the last couple of hurdles. Well, you'd imagine that you know, the knot is tied. He was a front runner. He must have he must have twigged that there was going to be a frantic pace, and there was, and decided to go up for the exact reverse tactics, which. All right, the horse did get there eventually, but he wasn't a happy bunny for a lot of the race. And who knows, if he had tried to match strides with them, maybe he would have won. In, in hindsight, he probably thought they were going too quickly. We all did. And just to add another layer of, of, of how spectacular and extraordinary this result and performance is, he's 13 years old now, yeah, I know. catching time. I know, it's, 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 but he's clearly enjoyed just being allowed to run and not being pestered by the jockey. I mean, it can work. You know, just, just have an inexperienced jockey who's just said, look, just, just run and I'll, I'll sit here and let and, you get on with it. And so often that's the case, Jonathan, with the, the, the more wily performers, the more yep. experienced horses as they get on in years. They, they often are suited by young male or female jockeys early on in their career who are not going to do too much and are not going to try and that pose questions are not going to try and suggest answers for a horse who probably thinks one, he knows plenty. Yes, one horse that won't respond to those tactics, of course, is Frankincense, who decided to have another of his funny days, and eventually Harriet Tucker's managed to get him going, and he, he's managed to reach the frame, but uh, he was hard work all the way round. He has looked round twice there, left and then right. Yeah. Before he jumped the hurdle, he looked round as well. Uh, Peter, I, I don't think he can quite believe that they're not closing in. Jenny's day did yeah. in the white. Well, it's you know the, the winning ride has only had one ride under rules. The the runner up, first ride under rules, and what a fine effort! And you know Jenny's day's got place form round here before and came from well off the pace. Well, if they were looking for an and finally on the yes. the news at six <laughs> or ten tonight, they've got their they've got their answer delivered in style. Well, the answer to the question, who would ride the first amateur race winner of 2021 is Mr. Peter Summers. That must sound pretty cool. It, it, uh, it does sound, it sounds very, it, it sounds amazing. I honestly can't believe it. Um, yeah, yeah, it's an unbelievable feeling. So talk us through it because it's an extraordinary story. This is a 13-year-old horse who yeah. hasn't won in a while. Um, 
yeah, he's 13 years old. Um, yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, he, means, he means absolutely everything um, to Laura and her family. Um, and um, I spoke to her on uh, Thursday evening, and she said, would I like to ride it if the race didn't divide? And I said, yeah, of course. Um, and then I seen what weight it had. Um, so that took some doing, but um, yeah, worth every second now to this today. Talk us through the weight then, what, what, in, in terms of what you had to do in that short space of time. I, it wasn't too bad, bit of running, a couple of layers on, but uh, we got there, you know. Um, but it's worth every second of it for riding the winner like that. What a, what a buzz. To be, I mean, he was so enthusiastic. Yeah, right he from loved the start. every second of it. I loved, you know, never came off the bridle. I didn't even have to, I hardly gave him a slap down the shoulder the whole way around. Um, and, you know, it, it just it means a huge amount to me. And, um, yeah, I'm just delighted for Laura and her team as well, they work very hard, so. And it, we could sense from your body language, you almost couldn't believe it coming no, up the I, home No, I straight. couldn't, I thought, I, I, I thought that something's coming, like this is too easy, I thought. Um, I thought, how is it? I've been doing this five, six years now, and it's never been this easy before. I, I, I just, I, I could, you know, I couldn't stop looking over my shoulder. <laughs> it was just a question of disbelief, like it was just, it was, something, something has to come now, something has to come, and nothing came, and um, yeah, it's an amazing feeling. Beautiful silence. Yeah. Beautiful silence. Yeah. And you say you've been working hard. I mean, behind the scenes, only actually your second ride under rules in, in, yeah. in public. Um, yeah, only my second ride. Laura was very, very good to me to give me my first chance at Exeter. And um, that horse ran, ran very well that day as well from a big price. And um, I, I was I was unlucky on seat that day. He was coming with a run and probably would have been in the play since that day. But um, yeah, Laura's been very good to me. And I try and get in there once, once a week or so. And um, yeah, but just been riding away, pointing, and it's you know it's been a hard two years really with coronavirus for lads pointing and amateur on the rules like everything being cancelled. So yeah, uh, it's it feels absolutely amazing to have the first winner back for amateur racing. So yeah, delighted, and absolutely I delighted. I su suspect today with plenty of amateur riders, people who would would have been out in the point to point yeah. field riding and riding winners, there probably was a real buzz in that weighing room today. Yeah, it was. It was good, and you know like. You know, I, I see the likes of you know Floy in there, and you know every weekend fighting. So, um, yeah, it's stuck. It's it's great, and I'll see them all again on, sun, on Sunday down Cherry Road, hopefully as well. So, um, yeah, just just you know trying to trying to sit on my laurels for too long. We get back down to get back down to fighting again. So, get your hands yeah. dirty in the point to point. So, have you got some rides booked in um, that particular area? Yeah, I have one. I've I've definitely have a maiden at Cherry Brook. And I might have my one or two maybe later on the day, but um, we'll find out. We'll find out later on in the week. So this must surely have whet your appetite for rules racing. I, it, it it hasn't quite sunk in yet, really. I don't think. Um, you know, it's something you wait and wait and wait for. I, you know, I you can't wait to ride your first winner, and that happens. I I just did that. Um, <laughs> oh, it hasn't, hasn't really sunk in yet. So Believe it, you I'm have sure just done it. I'm sure it will some time I drive home this evening. You are going to love watching that back. You're going to love watching that back yeah. again and again and again. Really special day. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you.